That's never a good sign. Cop car just waiting. <laughs> right, so guys, welcome to the first video of 2020. I know I've been a bit slow off the mark. I've had um, numerous issues with this old girl. As much as I love the old girl, I'm starting to not really enjoy fixing it. So yeah, over the um, New Year's holiday, I basically did a bunch of maintenance on it to try and fix the misfire. I did all the basic stuff, like I just changed the plugs, oil, filter oil, air filter, and uh, it didn't fix it. So then what I did was, fucking asshole. Then what I did was basically remove, I had um, the bike in pieces anyway, so I took the throttle bodies off and replaced all the uh, silicon hoses because I wasn't sure if there was a leak or maybe one of them had a, a little nick that I couldn't see by eye. Uh, so I replaced the silicon hoses and then while I had all that shit off I just decided it, sound, it seemed to be like it could be electrical. So I took the entire loom off the bike, cleaned every single connector and every single like um, chassis earth and stuff like that with a, basically an entire can of contact cleaner and a special like um, kind of like a toothbrush size brush for, for cleaning rust off connectors. Put it all back together and basically it's cured. So it's fixed now and it runs better than it ever has. So I'm not sure which part of my uh, repair fixed it because I did so much at the same time. But anyway, the good thing is it's fixed now. So aside from that, what else is new? Well. Last year uh, was obviously my first year of doing YouTube, so I'm up to something like 720 subscribers now, so I'm really thankful for all those people that watch the channel and subscribe. And um, what I'm going to do this year to, to, to make it a bit better, like I think my actual, the quality of the video and stuff is, has improved as I go on, but I'm going to take you up to the next level, baby. So right now I have... Um, basically just a GoPro 7, Hero 7 Black, and like a, whatever it is, Wimius Chinese one. And what I want to do is step it up with a 360 camera. And I've also bought myself a drone. Yes indeedy. So the new DJI, DJI Mavic Mini, the kind of entry level one, but man it's so freaking good entry level my ass the quality is amazing but uh so i haven't had much time to practice with it yet because it arrived during the during the new year break and uh having a four-year-old and finding time to play with your new toy your new toy drone doesn't really go hand in hand so today i'm basically going out to this peace park in my city which is like a commemoration for the end of the second world war thing and it's like you know don't don't do war people kind of thing so hopefully there's no one there so I'm gonna go and take my drone out and give it a go and uh, obviously today I'm in the city I'm not venturing out anywhere today but um, the plan with the drone is like if I go to some amazing mountain roads then I'd like to get the drone hovering in the air while I ride past and get you know like a go up real high and get a nice view of all the mountains and all the lush forests and stuff like that so it'll just add uh, add something to the videos I think make him look a bit more professional and the 360 camera I haven't bought one yet they're pretty damn expensive but I was thinking of getting the um, Insta 360X seems to be a popular one I was maybe the GoPro one as well just to be a brand whore but I don't know still thinking but anyway let's head out to the peace park now and see if we can get some cool shots with the drone see you guys there all right guys so I've arrived in the peace park which is a uh, freaking huge cemetery but right at the top there's a uh, kind of like a little temple but it's actually really windy and that temple is quite a high elevation it's like 150 meters up so I'm worried there'll be too much wind so I'm probably just gonna go and check out this monument and see if we can um, fly around that and see if we can get any cool shots not really supposed to take your bike in there because there's an actual car park there but 
I'm pretty sure all these people are just visiting graves anyway, so hopefully there's, uh, there is one person there, but yeah, I'm sure they won't mind if I just pull up on me bike, me bikey. If they do, well, fuck them. Oh, it's a skateboard dude. He won't give a shit. Cool. All right then. So let's get this drone out and see what we can do. Oh, there's the, the temple up there. It's fairly windy today, so I don't want to risk it. I'm still a new pilot. That's so cool. I can call myself a pilot now because I've got I bought a drone. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's get this drone out. Alright guys, so I hope you can hear me okay. So this is what it looks like. This is the DJI Mavic Mini uh, Fly More Bundle. So the, the regular one just comes with a drone and a controller and a battery. But this one comes with obviously this carrying case, the controller and a battery charging pack thing where you can put three batteries and it also comes with three batteries and spare propellers and stuff like that so let's get it set up so you open up these support arm things and then pull out these controls which conveniently are inside there which i almost always forget to do right then plug in this wire into the controller and get your phone now. Plug it into your phone. And then secure it inside these. Can be a bit fiddly. Okay, there we go. Right, so that's it. Then open up the Fly DJ DJI Fly app. And you get this screen actually and we need to put a battery in first so it comes with a protective case on the camera it's got a three axis i think a gimbal so that's all very cool so to open it open out the arms like this and the lower ones you spin them around and open up the battery case on the back struggle to get it out Okay, need two hands because it's like a little lock. Okay, one battery out. Stick it in. Turn it on and off is a kind of a bit fussy. You have to press it once and then long press it. And you see that the propellers move a little bit like that. Hopefully my new friend here doesn't get freaked out by this. Probably will. Alright, same thing on the controller. Short press then long press. Then connect aircraft. My phone's vibrating for some reason. Search for aircraft. Okay. So, mode B is just like regular mode. S is like sports mode, high speed. And then C is cinematic, so it's like real nice and slow. So, press the takeoff button. And then hold this down. Should be okay inside here. And it automatically takes off to a, like a meter or something. Then, right, let's go and try and do some cool shots. So I just hit record now, because I forgot to do a minute ago. Right, so, it, it's pretty, if you just let go of the controls now, it just stays there. It's a bit windy today, so it's moving a little bit. But I've put these grids on the screen so I can find you know, what I'm actually aiming for. So if I go fly towards the bike now, in the cine smooth effect, it'll, it just looks really trick, I think. And coming back backwards. Yeah, like, so I want to get the bike in the middle like this and you can do some badass panning shots and it's super smooth yeah now the wind's kind of died down a little bit so I'll show you 
how high this thing can go. So let's get this monument in the center. Escape dude. And then just go up, up, up and away. So you can see on the screen how many meters and the speed as well. So we're going up at 1.5 meters a second. And it's only, at, that's only like 20, 22, 23, 25 meters now. So 26 meters, 27 even. Now if I just pan it around, spin it around, you can see the city. That's downtown over there. What's in the middle of the screen now is basically the downtown area. And then if I fly forwards, and also you can adjust the camera, you can move the position of the camera down, you can adjust the gimbal. So that, there's that freaking huge cemetery. me and skate dude so I'll rotate around again try and find the bike see what it looks like from here there's the bike getting the thing centered is pretty tricky actually Right, so I'm basically directly above the bike now, so if I lower it down, it might look cool as well. But yeah, this is what I want to do, like cool shots like this of the bike and, you know, places that I go to, like Suzuka, Sky uh, Suzuka Skyline would be awesome. But the views over there are so freaking good. I'm trying to keep it in the middle job but yeah you know this is the kind of thing I want to do with the drone so I move the camera back up to zero degrees and I guess I'll bring it in Anyway, yeah, that's a quick, a quick um, demonstration of what you can do with one of these bad boys. Hopefully, I didn't screw this. It appears to be broken. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that little, little video. So now I think I'll practice getting some more bike shots and then uh, go for a ride. Well, that's weird. The lake is like almost dry. Guess we haven't had enough rain. How bizarre. Anyway, um, down here, I've come down a bit from where I was and uh, there's no wind down here, but up at the top where I was, the wind was getting too strong so I couldn't fly anymore. But uh, basically I've used up all three batteries just practicing. It's pretty tricky actually. Like once you once you can't see the drone with your na with the naked eye when it's like out of range, it gets really confusing as to where the hell where the hell it is. And there's a return to home button on the uh, on the drone, so you can just press the press the button on the controller and it will come back. But it doesn't have any obstacle avoidance built into it, so. Um, you could easily hit a tree or something on, on its sort of like automatic way back home. So I didn't want to use that, but yeah, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. But it's fun anyway. So hopefully, um, the, the vi I just checked out the footage on my phone. It didn't look too good, to be honest. It's a bit too windy and like the, even though it was in the super smooth, cine smooth uh, mode, it's sort of 
I don't know, it just didn't look so cool. But anyway, uh, I will keep practicing and obviously this weather is not very good for uh, drone flying. It's a bit too windy and stuff and it's cold. So hopefully when the spring comes around, I'll be able to get some nice shots of the cherry blossom and cool roads that I go riding on this stuff. But anyway, um, for now, yeah, good, good bit of practice today. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for all the subscribers. So I think I mentioned before about 720, something like that, 730. So thank you for everyone who subscribed to me last year. And hopefully uh, this year I'll improve the content, get out a bit more, get some new cameras and some new equipment and stuff to make it a bit more, a bit more professional looking. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching guys. If you haven't already, please do consider giving me a subscribe. I want to hit that magical 1000 this year. And also, there will be a new bike this year. I'm not quite sure what it will be yet. But I'm thinking Italian V4. There's a clue for you. Alright guys, signing off. Have a great 2020. See you guys.